so I recently made a video talking about the best way to be creative and how to come up with your best ideas. And I'll link that in the description or up here or whatever. But there was something missing that I forgot to mention. Where you write and get creative matters, kind of. Certain spaces can enhance your creativeness. Now it's not end all, but it definitely helps. Now I've been writing music for about 10 or so years, but when I moved into the city last year, I had one of the most creative highs I've had in a really long time. I don't know why and I can't seem to put my finger on it, but whenever I go to write and record, it's just almost inspiring in whatever way. Now the point of all this is that I believe it's important where you create. Now this is probably why a lot of artists could be for music, photography, art, they have their own studio outside of their homes that's comfortable for them and can help them get into that creative process. If you have a space like this, please let me know down in the comments where and how helpful you think it is to you to have something like that, somewhere to go to create. Now I'm also here to say that it isn't the most important thing. You still need to sit down and put the time in and just do the work. And I think if you still do that consistently, no matter where you are, you're gonna have great creative outcomes. Now during the making of this video, I actually looked up cool places that bands and artists have recorded albums at, and there is no doubt that these locations helped inspire their records. All right, so we have the Stones recorded Exile on Main Street, or at, at least started the process in a villa in France after running from England's tax laws. It's a pretty gritty record, and I think one of their best, uh, maybe that grit comes from you know, avoiding tax laws. But a villa in France, yeah, that, that would, that'll help. Uh, apparently Nine Inch Nails recorded Downward Spiral in the Hollywood Hills home that was infamous for the Sharon Tate murders. Bad vibes all around on that one. The Black Keys recorded Rubber Factory in an abandoned tire factory, and they said that the acoustics were horrible and not an ideal recording space, but I'm sure that's what made those tunes sound so raw. There's just so many instances of this, and it just shows that People want to get out of their normal everyday spaces to create. Now I'm sure you're all familiar with the term writer's block. It's something that happens to every artist and creative. There's just no way to run from it. And most of the time you sort of just have to stick through it and keep writing. And this can even happen in the most coolest of places. But if you find that you're struggling and having trouble coming up with ideas and maybe the space you're in, you've been there for a long time and it's not the best place for you to be, in your own little headspace that is, then maybe it's best to get a change of scene. It doesn't have to be permanent, it doesn't have to be super far, it could be even somewhere close to you. That could even help inspire you and help get out of that creator's block. Now this whole topic in general came to me because I'm actually moving out of here and I'll probably be out of here by the time I even post this video, but I'm glad I could spend the time here writing and you know keeping up with my craft within the past year. It's honestly something that I really look at and consider when I'm moving somewhere else because I wanna feel comfortable in a space where I can create on like the Sharon Tate house that that would do nothing for me and also just remember that there's no real answer for any of this uh, it's all about how you like to do it and that's the most important thing you do it because you want to and that's good enough if you enjoyed this video and you want to follow my adventures as a musician I have original music that I record on the roof with this view it's super cool uh, I have uh, gear demos I do guitar lessons tips and tricks things like that so check them out thanks for watching and supporting and I'll see you in the next one